Merry Meet and welcome back. Sorry about the disruption in part one. I really didn't expect that to happen at all, but uh, oh no, there's a nice funny ending to that video of was. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, that was part two because uh, I just watched the other video to see where I got up to and the explanation thing and stuff, and now I know where I'm at, I can start it off properly and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, in the previous video I said that uh, I basically clicked on the Goddess Chant by Incubus Sucubus and I found that randomly and didn't know what it was so uh, clicked, on it random clicked on it out of curiosity and I was blown away by how it sounded. It was just like, wow. <laughs> really, I was like really, oh my god with it. Uh, I loved it so much that I basically went on YouTube, I think it was after that, to um, search for more music by that band. So I um, searched for it and I found quite a lot of stuff by them. Excuse me, I had a bit of dinner and I got something stuck in my tooth. I think my tongue's trying to feel it. Stupid tongue. Sorry about that. Anyway. <laughs> Search through YouTube for other stuff by Incubus Cubis and I think other I think songs I found in there was um, Sowen, or where I say it's Samhain, but I know the proper pronunciation is Sowen. But um, this is that. Liked it. Oh, what was the next one I found? Was a. Uh, uh, what was the next one? I can't remember what it was. Anyway, I'm not going to remember every single one of them because of time-wise. Um, yeah, basically, I think it had some sort of tags, I remember it was, that saying Wicca or this and that. And I was like wondering, what the hell is Wicca? To be honest with you, kids. So I searched Wicca on YouTube, all sorts, and it came up with loads of videos about Wicca and loads of information about the pain or something. So I think the first video I ever watched on that was I think it was um National Geography Geographic short film about it. I think it was that one was the first ever one. I can't remember I can't remember because I've watched so many <laughs> on YouTube on this subject and stuff there, so I've really got myself into it. I think it was that one was the first thing. Um and I was like, I felt really connected to it, I think it was. Um, it's like finding, no actually, it wasn't YouTube actually, I was thinking I started that, sorry. I'm trying to remember it off from the head, like how, how it actually happened and stuff. Uh, yeah, I did watch some bits on YouTube, I remember. And then I found a website called silveryWitch.com, and that's, but this creator, basically during that time, was doing MySpace graphics, layouts, comments, all sort of. But sadly, she, that creator doesn't do that anymore. She, I think he, it's a she actually. Right? Only does uh, poetry graphics. I, guess. I know it's still up, but uh, doesn't do graphics anymore for it. Anyway, it had a section on Wicca, so I um, clicked on that. And it had all the basic info about it, like what the religion is, what the rules are. That was when I discovered the first time ever that we can read. And it was those words, and ye harm none, do what ye will, that I felt so strongly connected with. I was like, well, that's easy to follow. Do what the hell I want, as long as I don't harm anyone. That's what it is. And I liked that, really, because it's like, be independent, don't hurt anyone. <laughs> and also as well, because um, during that time I was 17, and that was the age I bought my first ever pentacle. Well, that time I thought it was called pentagram, really, because of the um, my golf stuff, really, which I still am today. And that was also when I found out that the actual name of it in the circle, of course, is um, pentacle. And that's what I'm wearing, as you can see. 
is my first ever pentacle. And I still wear it to this day because this is my favourite doing. I, I always wear this every single day because it's like a protection really from negative energies, bad luck. It also saves me from getting run over by cars for some reason. I don't know why, it just does that. <laughs> yeah, so so I basically read the basic info on Sylvie Witch and um, it had info on the sabbats, the tools, everything. And I was like, this is right for me, what I think. Well, I wasn't sure really, but uh, anyway, after I went to the Sylvia Witch, I watched more Wiccan videos. I didn't really read much about it because during that time, I wasn't really into reading that much really, because I just found it boring. Um, I, mo I was mostly interested in reading books that has pictures in it. Because I think that's the thing that really entertained me the most, really. Even in primary school... Oh, excuse me, I think that's a bit, but sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, even in primary school, uh, even when the teacher was telling the stories and that, I was so looking forward to... Um, the pictures coming up there, the teacher gets the book and shows it around the classroom. Sorry, this is trying to picture of the book coming up. See you guys. Uh, oops. Oops, it's supposed to really fun. <laughs> Let's make sure it's under 10 minutes. Um, yeah, it was that really that I, ever since then, I basically watched videos on YouTube, watched documentaries, infos. Even from watched other Wiccan users, really, you like get to get tips and all sorts, really. And also with the culture of the college, because that I got to know the culture of Roskimo College through that. And and I was like, this could be the right religion for me. I remember during that time, my mum and my family were like a bit against this stuff, so. I had to hide it from them a bit because fears of arguments because I didn't really like causing arguments and stuff. But now that um, I think my family are alright with it as long as I don't do anything that's been bad, basically. So uh, at least I got the all clear from the respect of that. And I think it was now, I think it was then up to. March this year that I decided that I'm going to take it, take it on really. However, I'm not, I decided myself that um, I'm not going to do covered stuff because of my autism with the vulnerability stuff and there's also family beliefs as well because I was brought up CV. So there's that, that I, so that's, so I decided to be solitary. Instead of cover stuff, really. So, so from then on, from March 2010, I decided that I'll get bits of bits together from my altar and stuff, and I'm going to train myself to be a solitary Wiccan, but doing it my own way, basically. And I think it's about I can explain really how I got myself into Wicca, really. So, um. If it's a bit confusing, really sorry, because uh, this is the only way I can really explain this properly is well, it's just me in the flat. So sorry, this video came a little bit late, and uh, it's coming up to ten minutes. So um, let's see. Bye.